But I have a once in a lifetime opportunity to drive literally the furthest distance you could possibly drive in the United States. I'm gonna be driving from Washington State to Lakeland, Florida and back over the next three weeks. And today is the very first day of that journey. We get to go take our first look at the trailer. They just completed it. This is a prototype that I'll be taking to Florida and back. Okay, just arrived. We're gonna go take a look at it. I'm so stoked, but first, I have to point this out. This guy knows how to party. That thing's freaking rad. Cool. Good job, man. I like that. Look at that. Ooh, I wanna take a closer look. Bumper. Oh, man, that's sick. Oh, there's somebody in there. Oh, oh what's up, man? There she is. When I arrived at the shop to pick up the trailer, the guys were still working on it. They were putting the final touches on this prototype trailer before taking it on a 3,000 mile journey from Washington State to Florida which is literally the furthest I've ever had to drive before. Being that it was completed that morning, we wanted to take it to some sand dunes and give it a proper shakedown. This is the first time the trailer has been outside of their parking lot and we're driving it all the way to Florida. Adventuring. Yes, we are. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, today we woke up in Montana. We left at two o'clock in Washington State and we drove straight through. I don't even really know how many hours. And we found a little forest service road or a little, it's actually a Jeep trail uh, to kind of cruise up. We went pretty high up last night, but the snow was too deep. And we didn't really feel like camping in the deep snow. So here we are. It was about, it's about 26 degrees right now. Probably got a little bit colder last night. Uh, I slept pretty decently in my rooftop tent. Bill, where's Bill? I'm over here. I'm over here. <laughs> How did you sleep in the in the dude? You, oh, the man, first really night. Good. Really first good. Night. It was awesome. Yeah, I slept like a rock. Dude. We took it through the dunes a little bit up this mountain, and then we've already put what 800 miles on it. Yeah, like we'll probably do another 800 miles today. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. sounds good. We've got Let's lots do of it. time. So we were gonna do a nice cookout, but it's way too cold. We're gonna take off. We're gonna bail. into South Dakota. I've never been this far into Wyoming and I've never been to South Dakota ever, so this is the first time. Bill, I don't know about you. Yes, yes. I've been through here, but uh, it's been a while. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty exciting stuff. We'll keep you posted. We're gonna keep driving now. <laughs> South Dakota, baby! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's happening? Oh my God! We did it! We're halfway there, not even halfway. Are we halfway? No, we're not even close. No, <laughs> not even close. <laughs> Just dang. Hey, but we're almost to Sturgis. Oh, yeah. Is, yeah. That, is that going on right now? No. No, it's not. It's not right. But we can camp out. But we, we could wait for it. We could camp there. That'd be cool. So, it's about 2.30 in the morning in Missouri. So we, we drove from Montana all the way to Missouri today. I can't believe it. It's like blowing my mind, but 
the truck's been phenomenal. I'm so glad that I have the Raptor. It's so comfortable that the miles just feel super easy. And uh, yeah, we did it. I'm, I'm back in Missouri. I haven't been here since basic training 2009. Pretty cool. <laughs> Still smells the same. decision <laughs> why did we do this why did we choose panda express on a road trip good thing the seats are ventilating what they need to do <laughs> i'm i'm telling you i'm going to patent this idea i'm going to tell ford now reverse the fan on the ventilation right okay. one button and it's like a fart evacuator you see when yeah. you're on road trips does it, oh does it blow air it or blows sucks? air oh, okay it blows oh, yeah. air but if you had a single button you could press you could just Pull it right in, save date night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there, that there is the Ohio River. Oh, and she is as gorgeous as she is wide. By Saturday, we had reached as far as Tennessee. Being in the South again brought back a wave of memories of when I used to be in the Army and was writing Desiree letters back and forth during basic training, which made me pretty homesick. This was the furthest I had ever been from home, so it was kind of nice to just relax by the fire, take it easy for a bit, and enjoy some drinks. We had a hard deadline of getting to Florida by Sunday for the air show, so we still had a lot of miles to cover the next day. All right, good morning from Georgia. We made it all the way to Georgia last night. We rolled in, uh, like, we tried to actually camp a little bit earlier. We rolled in around like 10.30 and then slept till 10. But we didn't fall asleep until three because we drank a bunch of tequila. <laughs> so really cool. This is actually the warmest place we've been on our trip. So it's kind of nice to take a little bit slower. And since we're not freezing cold, we're gonna show you some of the components of this prototype uh, Mammoth Overland trailer. And uh, if everything goes to plan, this trailer should be available near July. So keep an eye out for that. You guys can follow the Instagram account. This is Bill. He's been my co-pilot this whole time. Hey guys. Uh, he's gonna show us the trailer. He's the, are you a, I don't know if you're the lead engineer. No, I'm not. not I'm the just lead a, en an engineer. Just an, en no, just an engineer. Just an engineer. He's the, an, an engineer that helped build this thing. So he's gonna show us a little bit about it real fast. All right, sounds good. Super easy to, to open. We got these latches down here. T-handle, just twists open, pops up, there we go. and then we have this, this big swing out here, which uh, we're really proud of, um, put a lot of engineering into um, to make it super easy for you to open out, just swings out. Look at that, super cool. I've never seen anything like that. Drops a pin and bam, you're out there. And you got a big, a big work surface there, kitchen sink stove fridge instant hot water on tap the shower hookup the propane hookup right there tucked in the corner too we have usb outlets um 12 volt uh plug and then uh 120 when you kick on the inverter and it's gfci so you don't oh, wow. have to worry about you know uh we're we're back here with with sink and water mm. and you're safe oh perfect that's great and then we got pass through cabinets so you can reach back at night through the cabin here and grab your beer or your cookies and then a few little other storage spots and it's also got lighting throughout big space humongous space i mean we could both easily sleep in here you could probably sleep a lot more I mean, we slept four dudes in a much smaller one <laughs> and then, oh i didn't even notice a net on the ceiling that's cool yeah we got lots of netting you know just to stick your your personal effects of belongings throughout so yeah. you can kind of stay more organized than I do. <laughs> yeah. At least. And what's also really cool 
is uh, in the back there, there's a, a fold down bunk. So you can either store oh. your gear on the top yeah. um, or you, you uh, kids can sleep up there. Dogs can sleep up there if you bring them with you. Super cool, I'll show it. So that's that little table thing that folds down and that's gonna be a bunk. It's awesome, it comes with BFG tires. We got rock sliders, in, independent timber and suspension. Like we said, it just handles like a, like a dream. Big old box on the front with solar, propane. Our inverter, battery is all up there, the electronics, kill switch. Yep. All okay. up there. Desiree is going to be flying out to meet me with the boys, and we're going to be taking this thing all the way back to Washington from Florida. We're actually going to take our time. We're going to spend, spend every night in this thing, cooking out of it and all that. So uh, really look forward to that in the future of this series. Um, thank you guys for watching. We're going to move on down the road here and uh, continue heading to Florida, and it's going to be lots of adventures ahead for sure. I'm excited. Definitely not the most overlanderish thing to do, but we're, we're on a mission to find a Waffle House. The last one there was no parking and it was packed, so we've driven a little ways. We found one now. I'm having waffles! That's not a lot of trailer parking either. But oh, the Comfort Inn back there though. Oh, perfect. We could probably... Look at that Rolls Royce. Oh, is that a... Oh, dang! Daniel! There's signs on the door, but... Oh, we did it! Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We drove from Washington to Florida in three days. I'm so proud of my Raptor. I'm so proud of Bill. I'm proud of myself, really. It's been a journey. It's been a lot of miles and a bit of back pain, but we did it. Whew, I like the air here. It feels good. It feels really good. So Bill's entering the address to the house that's been rented. We're gonna go stay there. Um, after this episode concludes or wraps up, check out my don't forget to live channel because we're going to be at an air show and that's where I'm putting all my aviation content. So we'll be flying around Florida, all sorts of cool adventures. The vlogging will continue on that channel. Once we get my family to meet back up with me, we'll hop back in the Raptor and we'll be overlanding all the way back to Washington at a little bit slower pace where hopefully we'll get to see a lot more cool, awesome stuff. We'll get to off-road, we'll get to use the Mammoth trailer for what it's been intended for, which is kind of camping off grid. So excited to be in Florida. Every like little pond I'm like looking for, oh dude, look, are there gators in there or what? Show me your gators. Probably is lurking, lurking. So we have the option of driving straight to the house, going to bed at a reasonable hour, waking up bright and early to set up the booth tomorrow. But instead, we're gonna go to a really magical spring that's real real close by, so I can jump in. I gotta jump in. I got three days of ball sweat <laughs> built up. I'm sweating. I'm all sweaty. It was supposed to be a half hour, and it was like it was like 50 minutes. <laughs> 50 <laughs> minutes to go jump in this pool, and I didn't all realize. Right, and what's the abbreviation for Washington? Uh, WA. Alright, so you're gonna take this inside with both IDs, okay? Okay. Alrighty. Thank you. Yep, no problem. Thank you. I'm so confused. I'm so, so confused. They said we couldn't get day passes because the day passes end at five, but we could pay to camp here and then we could go we're swim. We're gonna roll in here. So we just paid for two days of camping so that we can jump in and jump out. <laughs> we're not turning around. We're gonna jump in this pool. You ready? I'm ready. 
I hope I hope you're you don't seem ready. Well, I'm not jumping in, but you're not gonna jump. No, I'm not. I just paid thirty dollars, <laughs> Bill. You're gonna jump in that creek with me? No, no. I'm not gonna get some flesh eating bacteria disease. And Are you serious? Get it's eaten a, by crocodiles or it's a, alligators. You, you came to Florida. Iguanas. You came to Florida. You're not gonna swim in a magical spring. Negative. For real? Negative. For real? Yeah. You gotta jump in that spring with me. You gotta do it. <laughs> Why did you agree to come here? If you weren't gonna jump in that spring. I was spring. held against my will. No, you drove. <laughs> you... Oh, oh yeah, I did. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you're not gonna jump in. I'm deeply hurt. You should have stopped me when I paid $30. <laughs> the end of the video and you're still watching I just want to thank you personally for watching my videos I really really do appreciate it making videos is something I've wanted to do my whole life and I'm finally stepping into the realm where I get to do it full-time make sure you hit that thumbs up button it helps me out a ton and if you're looking for more content to watch check out the don't forget to live channel where we have a little bit more insight on our daily lives uh, there should be a box in the upper right hand corner here maybe left hand I don't know this is a voiceover what you're seeing here is a bunch of footage that's coming up soon. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. It's going to be really, really exciting. So thanks so much. Have a great day. Get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. Love you. Bye.